Lock up game, lock up game, lock up game. You know what I'm saying? We back with it again with another video. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to go ahead and lock in and watch this. Uh, Javante Davis and Frank Martin, that whole little press conference. I, I heard a whole lot of people talking about it. You know what I'm saying? I guess they went at it, you know what I'm saying? Something like that. So we're going to see what's to it, see what actually will actually happen. You know what I'm saying? React to it with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, comment, subscribe. Hey, like, stay locked in with me and all that. You know, all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and get right into it. You feel me? Thank you. I'd like to thank Amazon, PBC, GTD Promotions, and the MGM. Everyone in the world has been anticipating the return of Javante Tank Davis. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you ask the question why? Very simple. He's the most exciting fighter in the entire world. When I think of the face of boxing, I think of him. He's the guy that's having the most impact in the sport, especially with the younger generation becoming new boxing fans. There's a big resurgence of boxing fans that have came to the sport, and we can look none other than to my right. He's the reason why. He's the most talked about fighter in the entire sport. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's only one reason why. Because he comes and he delivers and gives the fans exactly what they want. He gives them their money's worth. No matter where I go, whether soccer games, track meets, youth basketball games, they're talking about one guy. And they're always coming up to me. When is Tank Davis fighting? Ladies and gentlemen, June the 15th, we're going to get exactly what we want to see. And that's another Tank Davis knockout. Light work, light work. Thank you, Leonard. At this time, not only do we have great, great fighters, world-class fighters uh, on this card, but we have world-class promoters as well. A tremendous team at this time. My pleasure to introduce to you one of boxing's busiest and hottest promoters from Samson Boxing. Please welcome Samson Lukowitz. Good afternoon. Thank you very much for the opportunity to Amazon, to BBC. Well, I want to acknowledge Kovacic's uh, trainer joining us, and he'll get a chance to answer some questions and speak one-on-one. -on -one. Marco Contreras, please welcome him. Hello, everybody. Get a chance to speak later. Uh, we're going to move on to our fighters. Excuse me for the interruption, but we do want to get through this. Um, Hey, let me introduce to you the former light heavyweight world champion. We want to hear from it this time. Record of 20 wins, one loss, 16 wins coming by way of knockout. He's the former light heavyweight world champion from Ukraine, now fighting out of Southern California, and the current world-ranked contender. Please welcome Alexander the Nail Vazdik. <laughs> Alexander, a few words, opening words, please, from the microphone. Uh, hello, people. The world champion we want to recognize his trainer, who will get a chance to speak a little bit later on so on some one-on-ones. We want to acknowledge David Benavides' father and trainer, Jose Benavides. In you know, I've always been wanting to find a, on a chance to hear from him a little bit later. But Frank Martin Stainer, please welcome the former trainer of the year, one of the greats, Derek James. And now let's hear from the undefeated challenger. His record, 18-0, 12 knockouts. He's done everything to earn his spot in this world title challenge. The undefeated contender promoted by Errol Spence Jr.'s Man Down Promotions, the current acclaimed world-ranked lightweight contender. Please welcome Frank the Ghost Martin. Frank, start us off with a few words, what your thoughts are on being here this afternoon in this upcoming huge event. Well, it's a blessing just to be here. You know, it's a blessing to get this type of opportunity to come out and, you know, show the world what I'm about. You know, uh, I got to take hats off. I appreciate, you know what I mean? I appreciate Javante. Now at Hardy's, two hand-breaded chicken tender wraps are only $5. Matt. Choose your favorite flavors for any... Davis, you know, for even taking a fight. You know, I, I believe they fucked up by taking this fight. But, you know, I, I do appreciate the, you know, them giving me this opportunity 
to, you know, show the world what I'm about. You know, I'm just ready to go out and shock the world and shit, do what I do, do what people think I can't do. Thank you very much, Frank. We'll get a chance to hear from both of the fighters a little bit later on both the main event, co-main event in this huge night coming your way, June the 15th. And at this time, we do want to acknowledge They're Tank like Davis' Tank. trainer. Again, you get a chance to have... They're like Tank ready to fight right now. Like at this point right now, like he ready. Have some one-on-ones with him later, but we do want to acknowledge him, Calvin Ford. Welcome, Calvin. And now we introduce one of the greats in boxing today. You've heard from Leonard Ellerby explaining why. It's certainly true. His record, 29-0 with 27 wins coming by way of knockout. He is the five-time three-division world champion, the reigning and the defending undefeated WBA lightweight champion of the world, Gervonta Tank Davis. I just want to appreciate, I take my hands off to everybody that came out. Um, to this press conference, um, Amazon Prime, uh, MGM Grand, uh, even uh, David Benavidez, you know. Um, I won the David ben uh, Benavidez fight before, I think when he fought uh, Caleb Plant. And at first I didn't know that, you know, he was one of them guys. Until I asked him, you know, went to his fight and put the earphones on and, you know, I was close up, so. I'm definitely excited to be on a, um, a call with someone like him, um, a guy just like explosive. So I, I feel as though like, even if the June the 15th, the pay-per-view was a hundred bucks, it's worth it. You know what I mean? I'm not saying it's going to be a hundred bucks, but <laughs> if it was a hundred bucks, it's worth it for sure. So I'm definitely looking uh, to it from um, just all around the board, just being in, back in the ring. You know, I've been off for a long time. I didn't been in jail, I've been, been on a uh, house arrest and things like that. I'm just happy to be back uh, here where I'm comfortable at, where I'm, you know, um, I could be fa flawless and, you know, and do what I do best. And that's uh, give you fans the uh, best boxing um, you've seen up to date, you know. So uh, come during the 15th, I ain't really with, you know, a lot of talk. He's, he's trying to show that he's, he's a front runner. That's all you he do is on, talk he, he on Twitter. He put on for, oh. for the people that he come with. You know, That's all you do think, is talk on Twitter. They think thugs and shit like that, but I'm telling you. That's all you do is talk on Twitter. It's a different beast in front of him. It's a different beast in front of him. Nobody that's walking with him, holding him hand in hand, is it's, not going to be able to just, save him June the 15th. It's just I'm me and you. I'm telling you. And it's a lot of shit built up. You It's a lot built up. It's me and you. And I'm going to take it out on him. Sorry to be it's going to be him. I'm telling you. I, I guess we, do, I guess we both I got a lot of shit built up. All right. Thank you very much, Tank. <laughs> Truly, the boxing world is happy to have you back and see you in action. We're going to get a chance to hear from both of these fighters. You get your chance to, 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 to talk back. Um, but we're going to start with the light heavyweight world championship that is on the line on June the 15th. I want to hear from David Benavides first. David, I know you as a longtime boxing fan, respecting the history of the sport as well. Now, you are back on the big stage of boxing. You know, uh, people are going to know that you crank the weight to light heavy. But um, this is the right time to move up to super, uh, light heavyweight because I have did everything I could do at 168. I've been there for 10 years. Um, my, the only other thing I had to achieve was, you know, fighting for the unified, unified place to be. And you mentioned how much it means to you to be in this fight with David Benavides headlining this massive event. That's uh, great to hear from you. I know that you've been wanting to fight for a while. No, I believe you wanted to fight at the end of, uh, at the end of 2023. Um, after your fight and your impressive win over Ryan Garcia, what kind of statement are you looking to make against Frank Martin? Um, I'm just, you know, happy to be back in the mix. You know, uh, again, probably happy to be, I'm not think, but for sure happy to uh, fight at the MGM. You know, I think this probably be my second time fighting, but I remember coming to um, coming to watch Floyd versus Cotto, I believe, and and um, I walked through the front door and, and I seen all the how like the celebrities and things like that had like mink coat songs and things like that. So I always wanted to be um, a part of something like this, you know. So I'm just grateful to be in this position. And, also be on this call with another young lion like myself. 
and we get the fans what they want to see. Well, Tank, I know you bring out uh, celebrities from all over the world, from all sorts, and it may be summertime, but I think we might see a few mink coats as well. So <laughs> yeah. that's all courtesy of you. Uh, Frank, question to you. You've done everything possible in order to earn your world title uh, opportunity. Um, you're finally fighting for the world title. What does it mean to you um, to, for this opportunity for something you have always wanted the most in your life? I mean everything, you know. I mean everything. Uh, I've been working You're not even for talking it. Confident. I've been, I've been working for it. You know, I've been, I've been an underdog in this, and since I started. This y'all you know, boy. From the, from the beginning. The ones y'all roll with. You know, so. This y'all boy. Like. They don't even now, talk you know, like you mean this, it. This is like you see, you got to talk. You they don't talk like you mean it. You doing all that tweeting? You, you doing all that tweeting? Let yeah. me talk. That's what you know, I do when talk. I'm in camp. Let me talk. I tweet. Let me talk. <laughs> Would you, there ain't nothing else didn't to do. Didn't you say you don't do all that talking? I'd rather tweet than be outside. Didn't you say you don't do all that talking? Huh? Okay. All right, then. Didn't you say you don't do all that talking? <laughs> you'll right. see. Yeah, you I promise see. you'll see. I don't, and, y'all know I don't and do the all that talking. that's rolling with you, they Look, gonna see. Y'all know yeah, I don't that, do all that, that talking. That guy right there, hey, he who we say he is. Y'all know telling, I don't do all that talking. I'm telling you. Look at him. Everybody look at his eyes. Look at y'all, The ones that roll with him, look at his eyes. Look how he are. Look at him. He's not dead. He's not dead. Uh -oh. He's you, not. You ain't, you ain't been in no nobody show like this. You ain't been in no nobody like this. Nobody. I'm gonna show y'all. Nobody. I'm telling you. Nobody. I'm telling you. Let me ask you a few questions Tell about you. the fight itself, Frank. To Tell you, me. what do you need to do it's to slow down Gervonta? What is it? Uh, how much have you studied him? What are you going to need to do to slow him down? He's one of the hottest fighters in been, the world today. I've been watching everything. I know. How, I know how his ass walk. I've been watching everything. I mean, when we get in, I'm going to touch him up. I'm going to touch his ass up. That's I'm going to touch his ass up. I know how him and his whole yeah. team walk. I know how they all walk. Yeah. Well, well, Tank, how about for you? What have you seen in Frank Martin, and uh, what kind of fight do you expect him to, to bring to you? A brick hand. This is his best shot. You better not miss. You. Hey, man, you know what's spicy? You. You better not miss. You, you, you fuck around, do some lunge, you gonna, you gonna run into one. Oh. You know about it. I just said your brick hand, dumbass. Oh. oh, I got more than just a brick hand, oh. dumbass. What are you talking about? Full arsenal. No, you don't. Yeah, okay, you'll no, see. No, you don't. You gonna see. No, you don't. You gonna see. It don't, it don't happen over a couple, couple what's in there, a, a couple months or, or two months. It gotta All happen. Right. All right. You know what that's, I mean? That, that's that, that, I, I like that you got that. You know what I mean? I started, I started when I was seven, not 15. It don't, it, Come on, I, bro. It don't matter when you started. Come on. Come on. When you started. Come on. The trainer is coming for a check. I'm telling you that now. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Right. That trainer that's next to him, coming for a check. Okay. He know what type of, you know, he know. So where does it, for, a minute. for both of you, either you, where does this immediate animosity come from? Uh, have you had had problems no. for a while with each other? Is it uh, no, is this just, real? Is this just, uh, just made up for the fight? It's just no, nah, it's real. This Bruh, is two dogs. He's from it's the suburbs. Dogs. It's two he's dogs. He's from the suburbs. I'm from no motherfucking man, suburbs. Man, don't got nothing you don't know me. You don't know me. But, but, you talking but, about? but you the little female crazy. he got. That's that's the problem. But that little female he got, oh, she probably around here somewhere. <laughs> oh, catch up with her. La 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 la. Hey hey hey. Little female. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. With that, let's move on. Listen, oh, this is a tremendous fight. What oh, no. fee? <laughs> what fee? His female got took? His female got took? Ah, oh, no. Come on, Frank. Come on, Frank Martin. Don't let your female get June the 15th, Saturday, MGM Grand Garden Arena. Don't miss it. <laughs> Tickets are available at ASX.com. Available Wednesday, May the 8th. Pre-sales one day earlier. Tuesday, May the 7th from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. TSX, ASX.com, excuse me, use the code BOXING. Thank you very much for your attendance here today. We look forward to seeing you on June the 15th.
Like, he seem a little, little, little lit. You seem a little lit, y'all. You seem a little lit. You probably off the alcohol or that. I ain't. Yeah. Oh, it's not. Oh, we missing. Where the audio? Where's the audio? Oh, yeah. Let me see if I can get some audio real quick. Zorro.com knows that every job is important. And for more than 10 years, Zorro.com. At this time, with a record of 18 0 with 12 knockouts. This undefeated lightweight contender defeated riding out of Dallas. Twenty-nine wins. Lightweight. Oh, it's not hard. Hold on. Oh, it's not. Oh yeah, this gonna be a good. One. This gonna be a good one right here. Oh yeah, this gonna really be a good one right here, boy. Oh yeah. And Javante Tank Babe Davis right and Frank Ooh. the Ghost Martin heating things up already Ooh. in anticipation of their showdown for the WBA Ooh. Lightweight Championship Ooh. of the World. Oh, I'll invite, yeah, we'll invite our guests, our trainers, to join us here at the podium. Once again, things heating up already for this main event, the oh. WBA Lightweight Championship of the World. Fighters, take your seats. Oh! We'll have a chance to hear from both. Man, that's going to be an intense, tense one. That's gonna be an intense fight right there. Like, I don't know, like, what if Frank Morton shocked the world? Like, shocked the world and actually beat Javante on some boxing, like, just stand in pocket. You feel me? Stand all 12 rounds or something. But what if <laughs> Javante just knock him out? I'd rather fool him to see him just knock him out. I ain't gonna lie. I'd rather see him knock him out. I, I would like to see Frank Morton beat him. I ain't gonna fake it. I can't see that just because I know boxing gonna go down there if that happens. Boxing gonna go down if, like, Javante lose. I ain't gonna fake it. And then I seen Javante actually get touched a little bit, but I don't see him losing to Frank Morton. I just don't see that. Not right now. You know what I'm saying? But this look like it's gonna be a fight to see, a fight to watch for sure. You know what I'm saying? Just stay tuned. Ooh, tell me what y'all think. Do y'all think, like, Javante lose? Or Frank Morton lose? And which one is going to be, like, a knockout or a decision? I don't think this is going to be a decision fight. Like, I think somebody's going to get knocked out. Somebody. Somebody going to get hit real hard. Somebody going to get knocked out. But how, Javante, he, he's so small. I don't see him getting getting hit, like, knocked out or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Frank Morton going to have to really, really do it. And it's Frank Morton last fight, he was getting touched a little bit. You know what I'm saying? He was getting hit. Like, you feel me? He was getting hit. He got some cuts on his eyes and all that. Like, yeah. Like, even I think his nose probably been cut a little bit. But it's going to have to really, really be. He got to come out there and, and really, really make it a dog fight for Javante to just lose like that, lose everything. You know what I'm saying? And then Javante had a little 
layoff too. He was in jail, so you know what I'm saying? So it might be something that we can say that, hey, he might mess around and lose. It might. It might. You know what I'm saying? But hey, stay locked in. Go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. You know what I'm saying? Hit that bell so y'all know when I'm dropping every time. You know what I'm saying? It's road to 5,000 subscribers. You know what I'm saying? Hey, and like I said, it's lock up game, lock up game, lock up game.